In this video, we're quickly going to go over everything you need to know about scenes and how to make transitions work for you so you can have an awesome effect just like this. When you log into Streamlabs console, you'll notice that all the scenes that you've created are at the bottom below the canvas. I recommend having a starting soon and a gameplay scene so that way you can transition between two different styles. If you need to create any scenes or add an additional scene, click on add scene and give it whatever name you want. If you need to make a change to any scene that you have created while using Streamlabs console, you can do so at the top by clicking on the pencil and giving it a name that best suits for your style. Simply click on the check mark to finish and save the scene. When you have multiple scenes like I have here at the bottom, you wanna take notice of where the check mark and eyeball are. These represent what is actually being shown to your audience. If you wanna make any changes to any of these scenes, simply just click on it and go over to the left ledger to where you can either add components or delete components or if you need to move anything around, simply just click on it and lock it into a position. To add any transition to your scenes, all you have to do is go to add transition and select from the variety of ones that we offer. For this example here, I'm going to use clubs, which is already added, which you can see right here in the beginning of all the thumbnails. This will apply to all the thumbnails that we click between and transition to. To see the transitions in action, you can go to the bottom right hand corner and click on preview. Now, when you click between scenes, you'll notice that it changes with that transition right in the middle, giving you that awesome effect. Please note that you have to click on the eyeball to see the transition switch from scene to scene. When you've made all the necessary adjustments and changes, be sure to save your scene. If you add multiple scenes or have multiple components within those scenes and you wanna see how it looks, you can always use that preview button in the bottom right hand corner to get an idea of how it will look on your broadcast. If you need any more help with anything Streamlabs console, make sure you visit our tutorial section in the top right corner. I'll see you all later. Take care and have a good day.